Hello guys, welcome to a new episode of Leisure Levy. This time I brought a good friend of mine with me, Mark. Hello. Hello, I'm Mark. <laughs> And we saw this dude again with the last video. Hello, hello. Please introduce yourself, <laughs> Sonny. Hello. <laughs> banana. My name is Sonny. Today, we're going to do something we haven't done before. We're going to visit the Gaia Zoo. And the Gaia Zoo is a zoo in the Netherlands with lots of animals. So how often have you been here? I think I've been like two or three times now. Okay. In total. Okay, nice. One okay. time when it was just finished and one time not that long ago. Okay. A year or something, two years. Yeah. Two years ago. Okay, really cool. Anyway. Sonny, what are your expectations about this park? I've never been here before. Uh, I've been to a lot of other zoos, uh, especially the one in Amsterdam is really great. But I think this will not be as great as the one in Amsterdam. But yeah, that's my opinion now. Maybe afterwards it will be different. Okay, let's see what is going to happen. So at that moment, you're looking for your friends, so you're lonely at the zoo, and they're just gone. Oh no. You're seeing like little childs behind the glass. Yeah, you need to go through the iron fences because the birds will fly away if you don't. And here's some raccoons. I don't. They have thumbs. <laughs> Are you entertained, boys? <laughs> yeah! We are not yet entertained! No raven is eating another raven. Oh, Sonny, yes. what kind of sound does that bird make? Well, it's called in Dutch the oo, so I think it will make the sound. <laughs> what kind of sound does it make? <laughs> ooh. I have a question for you. Yeah, you can ask me anything, Sonny. If the ooh makes a sound, ooh, is it considered like a Pokemon? Because oh. Pikachu always says Pika. <laughs> well, asking the deep philosophical questions, I cannot answer that. Uh, those answers are forbidden for us mortals. <laughs> Creature of beauty, speak to us with your wise words. Do you know who we call a snake? Netherlands. No. Danger oh, noodle. A danger noodle. Yeah. <laughs> Listen, 
it doesn't make a great pet because if you keep it in your home, it will use that long nose to grab all the quarters in between your couch. <laughs> and you know, it's not something you want an animal to do. Sit still. Mary is terrible with the capybara. It's a, it's a shame the, the dead hand monkey part was closed. Yeah. I would love to steal one of those, but <laughs> unfortunately we were unable to. My disappointment is immeasurable and my day is ruined. <laughs> so Sonny, if you would like to steal a monkey, what would you name him? I would give it a really terrible name, like... I would name him Gertrude. Oh, I would, I would call him Jan Hubert. <laughs> Jan Hubert. Like a fancy double name. <laughs> So we now we saw a lot of animals in this park. We're at the halfway point and currently Sonny wants to eat. So of course we're gonna bring some food. This mammal is feeding himself with tools and equipment. It's a reptile. Food Sunny, was it appropriate? Yeah, it was good food. I had a lot of fries. But a currywurst XXL. Yeah, and you didn't share anything. <laughs> <laughs> I was hungry. So. Uh, I don't blame you. Yeah, it, it, looked, it looked really nice. Yeah, for all this walking, you need to eat good. Eggs, absolutely. So right now we're gonna spot one of the main attractions of this zoo. And of course, their lions. Uh, we <laughs> Charlie, get over here! <laughs> Mog's gonna check uh, at the lions. I think this park would be really great if you visit it when it's green outside. So when it's spring, when it's summer, so the atmosphere will be a lot better. At this moment it's winter and it's not that bad. Uh, there are a lot of things closed, of course, uh, things that haven't been cleaned up. So right now we're going to visit the sleeping place of the giraffes. Yay, I think. coming up to the cheetah enclosure. It's uh, amazing to see these big cats out in the wild. As you can see now, looking over the hill. Gabby! 
So within the zoo, they have a small zoo where you can just walk right in and they all have these kid-friendly animals like pigs and... What you calling me? <laughs> Let's see if George Orwell is somewhere over here. everything in this park we saw almost everything uh, we're close to the finish what's your opinion about this park well it's a great park it's a little bit small it has like the, all the regular animals that you would find at every zoo uh, but yeah i really like the food so that's a plus <laughs> and uh, i like the kids farm the kids farm was really amazing yeah the kids farm was pretty cool yeah, amazing they were farming children there <laughs> so innovative <laughs> finally we can drop the regular slaves and go for children instead well uh, as sunny said before it's not the biggest a zoo in the Netherlands or West Europe, but it's fine. It's uh, you got enough to see if you would visit at noon or just for a few hours. And I think if you visit this with small children, they will enjoy it a lot because there are lots of interactive elements, there are lots of playgrounds where small kids can play. So, Mark, yes. how did you enjoy the day? I enjoyed it very much. Okay, would have preferred better weather, but you know, it's. The typical Dutch thing to do, complain about the weather, regardless <laughs> of the weather. <laughs> So Mark and Sonny, what did you like most about this park? The and meerkats. The meerkats? Definitely the meerkats. Okay. And the curry was. The curry and the fries. <laughs> Yeah, really the food. <laughs> I also like the meerkats a lot. I like the monkeys a lot. Ooh, and the rhino fighting. The rhino fighting was also really awesome. Stay tuned for some amazing <laughs> rhino action. Although this is probably the end of the video. This is probably the end, so they have seen it. <laughs> so. Well, the thing I did miss about the park is that, that they didn't have any dinosaurs. Yeah, it's a shame.